Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 22 of the KCCFC TV show, the only football club TV in the land and the freshest and the finest football club TV on the continent. And in this one we have a plethora of staff because we have a guest on the show tonight, another landfiller, just like we had Magambo Peter last week. We have a guest on the show tonight and he's a landfiller who will be telling us how he has been able to balance football and education and he will be inspiring a lot and a lot of people out there. We have club news where we had five players this week invited to be part of the national team program that is in preparation for the AFCON qualifiers 2021. We'll be getting to know who these players were. We have a coach that has been summoned for national duty and is the under 20 national team coach. We'll be getting to know who this coach is. We have the fan zone and we have a nice challenge on the show tonight and also the squad number challenge. A lot and a lot of stuff on the show tonight. My name is Magero Moses Mwanje and let's walk this journey together. Now to start it off with the club news for this week, we had five players summoned for national duty and the five players are the club custodian and the captain, that is Charles Lukwago, the defenders Dennis Iguma and Kato Samuel, a midfielder Bright Anukani and Brian Aheba, they will be taking part of the 22-man squad, the coach summoned for, this is for the national team local players and these players, they will only pick five or six players that will join the other national team players, those are the foreign best players. And uh, those are the players that will take part in the double header against South Sudan in November. And that is the AFCON 2021 qualifiers. We only wish them the very best and we hope they raise the banner for the football club higher. Still speaking, the club news for this week. Now, this week, KCCFC assistant manager, that is Molly Bekwaso, has been appointed by the federation, that is FUFA, as the head coach for the under-20 men's national team. And it's a, for a period of six months. And uh, the appointment comes ahead of the AFCON Zonal Qualifiers for Sekafa region that will be starting in November 2020. We wish him the very best and we also still hope that he raises the banner of KCCFC higher. That is Mr. Molly Bekwaso, an assistant manager at KCCFC. Still speaking, club news that's still at KCCFC. Now this week, the club launched the Wear Your Local Jersey campaign. And the objectives for this campaign, I mean, are quite very simple that is to promote the local football industry through urging ugandans to support local football clubs and to buy uganda and build uganda then to have a collective voice as the uganda football clubs that can drive the same cause and then finally to generate revenue and grow the brand for uganda football clubs through various stakeholders proudly purchasing the local apparel and wearing it to give visibility to the clubs in order to attract Value. Now, this happened at the Star Time Stadium, Lugogo, where we had very many football clubs represented. We couldn't have everyone, but we had Sports Club Vida, we had Express, we had Wakiso Giants, we had Vipers, we had URA Football Club, we had a representative from Police Football Club and also one from FUFA and the Uganda Premier League. Later on in the show, we'll be telling you and giving you everything that happened at that press conference and a lot more about this campaign. Now for the fan zone segment for this week, we asked our fans this week to walk a mile in the gaffer's shoes, that is Mike Motevi, and give us their best 11. That is, if the 2020-2021 season wants to start today or later on this month, and they gave their take. Remember last week we had this same question asked to the fans. This time we had ladies ask this question. And then also we had kids for the fan zone this week, the first time it is happening. And the kids told us what inspired them to become KCCFC fans. I mean, their best game they've ever watched, which player they know. A lot, a lot of stuff we asked these kids. And this is what happened when you caught up with the fans for the Fan Zone segment this week. Hello. Hello. My name is Lona, and you are? I'm Sonia Dima and I'm Pierre. Okay, so let me ask you about, do you, do you like football? I can see you're wearing a KCCFC jersey, do you like football? Yes, yeah. I do. Which club specifically I would like to? KCCF. That's very interesting. Um, do you know any players from the club since KCCFC is your game, is your club? I know the goalkeeper who is the captain. Exactly, yeah, and it's called Lukwago. 
yeah. How did you get to know about the club? Um, my uncle, he's a, um, my uncle is a referee, so he brought me here, and we watched a game, and then I saw KCCA play, and it was just perfect, mm -hmm. and yeah. then. I started watching the matches and it inspired me. Now I'm supporting KCC. I'm a fan. How did you get your teacher your t-shirt today? Um I celebrated my birthday recently in September, but my uncle didn't give me a gift. So he decided, okay, which team do you support in Uganda Premier League? Then I said KCC FC. Then he decided to buy for me a jersey. Uh, do you have a message for the female friends out there who are least interested in football? I mean, especially to do with your club and... Yes. Um, mommy, this is a message to you. I encourage you to try to like put a little bit more effort in football because you never know. It may be good. And your friends? Her friends? Um, my best friend's called Esme. Okay. Yeah, and for her, I know that everything that I do, she will always support me. So I'm pretty sure that she will support me in this. Yeah, so you'd expect her to come and join you. Yes. Okay. How did you know about KCCFC? Play is good. The play is good. Yes. That's how you got to know about it? Yes. Ah. Do you know any players from KCCA? Yes. Which one? Shilab. Who? Gift. Yeah. Gift. And yes. You, have you watched him play before? Yes. Ah, okay. Do you know his number? No. You don't know his number? Yes. And it is your best player? Yes. Ah. Okay. Hello. Hello. My name is Lona. What's yours? Nyla. Nyla. That's a nice name. Nyla. I wanted to name my baby Nyla. But do you know any player? from KCCFC? Uh, the captain. The captain. Do you know his name? No, it's okay, I'll help you. He's called Dukwago. Dukwago, and he's a goalkeeper, so if you like him that much, and he's on, you know, he's called Dukwago. So the next time I ask you about your best player, you'll tell me Dukwago, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So any message for your judger who's watching you right now? At least you told me she's watching. So any message? Okay. I love you, Jaja. I hope you are watching me. I've sent this message to you. Okay, that's my only message I had in the head. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Owoku satu, mbante kao, mbante kao musa na muwoku na mbante kao musa. Kubanga na hii alisi zoni ye soka. Kujia, kubanga ya famu junior league, junior team ya fe. Nga janatu la gante aso ulo kukola, no singa baba deo. Chovu la mba mulonda mfasti leveni ya ni. Muwoku chano mba aso ulo kulonda levita wabanga agendo kuwe ilo mulamu. Nga ya onye injari kubanga. Na hii vya kula kumubilavye, season is a wet day. Muwomu kaga. Mbagi na kulonda iguma kubanga, aina experience. Sambu wachaye mwana mto ya kajamu mwuligi na ya tulaganti asobola. Namba muna na gift chemu ya chaya kola kwa mwachila wa season ya wedera nze nganze. Ya yali umusambi ya singa. Kubanga ilache ya kola chena linja gala. Namba muenda, nina kulonda naku. Kubanga ilana ye mwana mto ya kajamu ligi, ya haba na mjuniors league. Na ya tulazenti singa si chayali injari season ya wede. Yandi bada kule ichi singa uya, yandi bada netop sko wara mzenga wendo oza. Ngenda kumuwe lekeza bali nya katiku namba kuminemu. Ahe wana ye, ya kajia kubamu mbarara, na ya bada muligi, ama niligi nga weta ambula. Ela ndo oza, fenga kanso omule eta mkanso, tetu wako zebubi. Kubanga nsuvida agenda kukola chamani, agenda kuonge lako, ata jakube experience jaino kubamu mbarara, agenda tuko lida. Amanya mampita kabahanu zibres. Era singa singa andi mu vigere bia mutebi oba singa nze mutebi mm yani bade mukati mukatimba kange yani bade Charles Lukwago mu mubiri 
Nanta demo iguma. Then you move satu. Move satu singa or benchan wa janga libulunjinga tina injury. Mbanso la muteka yo kubanga. Mulunji. Aina aina left wa mune right. Then you munya data musa. Then number tano. Mba ndeta revita. Then the number mkaga ndeta gift early. Number msambu. Mba ndeta seruwada. Then monana ndeta kezron. Number mwenda mba ndeta ada. Ndeta bright. Then kumine emu mba ndeta poloto. Na emu lunch. Techo. Chena niba denko la era nsuvida. Nze simanyo ba na ye suvida echo kutu nanga tuko ze echo. Timu tugenda ziku batetu yete chiko. And the next time you tell the gaffer on which player he should have fielded for a particular football game, just know that the football club has a coach and gives him the mandate to name the best 11 to represent the football club for a particular game. But I mean, it's a fan zone and uh, we'll be asking the fans more and more their take and uh, we'll ask them to walk a mile in the gaffer's shoes still on the show. For the young fans that featured on the show for the very first time in the fan zone segment, kudos to you all and you really did good. And uh, we'll be having more young fans on the show and thank you very much for taking part and showing your confidence for the fan zone segment for the KCFC TV show. Now we'll be going to a break, but when we return, we have a guest for this week's show. He's a land a clinical officer, who will be telling us more about his football and education life. Everything after this break. From that break and just like we told you we have a guest for this week's show and he's a land fella. he's a footballer uh, last week we had magamo peter here he's also a land fella. he gave us his i mean football background and why and how he has been able to balance football and education we have another land fella in studio today to inspire the athlete out there and also other young fellas who want to make it in football we'll have him introduce himself and then we take it on from there sir thank you so much for hosting me yep. my name is ahiba brian Football player at KCCFC. I play as a striker. Wow, uh, Brian, it's been a few months since we unveiled you as a KCFC player striker. Yes. And uh, how have the first months been at the football club? Wow, the first months are really amazing okay. at the new home of KCC Football Club um, with good coaches, welcoming coaches, and welcoming fellow players. I feel at home already. Yes. Have you made any good friends around? Who are the best friends for the football club? Yeah, I have made several friends. Uh, KCC football players are really friendly, welcoming, and they make you feel at home. Mm. So I have very many friends around. The likes of Poloto, the likes of Ali Mwerusi, the captain himself. They're very good people. Mm. Yes. Now, I should say you broke the internet when we announced that we had done you. A lot of people were very excited. Uh, we have not yet played the football game yet. I have not yet seen you play in that chat, uh, but uh, just take us through your football background. We had you, uh, I mean, we had a profile about you when we unveiled you, but now you have a chance to tell people why and how did you start playing football and where? Um, first of all, I'm very delighted to have put on this wonderful jersey that I'm wearing right now, because this is the best club around, uh, around Uganda. And uh, my football career has really been uh, not easy as such because I started way back when I was still a young kid. Um, I was still schooling back there in Hoima, that's in St. John Bosco Seminary, where I started my football career. Okay. Um, there I was still journeying football and books. So later I joined um, my, uh, I went for the campus that is in Imbarara, where I did my clinical medicine. Um, there I was still journeying with football, balancing mm -hmm. books and football. Uh, I later joined the academy, that is Mbarra Sports Academy, that is 2015. And that's where Mbarra City got me from. And that's where I am now. And now I'm at KCC Football. Okay, well, we'll be speaking about your clinical officer profession later on. But um, any highs and lows in your football career so far? 
Yeah, definitely they can't fail to be there. The highs and lows are very many. Um, football journey is not easy, but just keeping on keeps you upright. Okay. So the eyes and nose are really there. They can't fail to be there. Yes. What has been your best moment ever uh, since you've started playing football and why? Uh, my best moment ever was when I was first summoned in the national team. Uh, it really made me feel like, I feel recognized when I was really summoned in the national team. It was my best moment actually. Okay. I had dreamed of it and it, it was like a dream come true. Well, we'll be also speaking about your national team goals and career later on. So, you said clinical medicine, clinical officer? Yes. Clinical officer. So, I mean, what does the clinical officer do? The person out there wants to know. A clinical officer, um, he clerks patients, okay. he prescribes drugs, he does also minor surgeries, and he also carries out some research, health research, uh, research programs. Yes. Okay, so, I mean, was this, your, is this what you wanted to do? Did you do it because your parents wanted you to do? Did you do it because you wanted to survive? What is the, I mean, what is the motivation behind this? Uh, all along, uh, since I was a child, my parents loved uh, sports as well, but they really encouraged me from day one to go for studies first before I go for, for football. But um, I want to thank so much. My mother really pushed me a lot to achieve this, to achieve the clinical course. It was really uh, uh, her, her courage and her motivation that made me achieve it. So do you plan to, are you practicing? Uh, do you practice clinical, I mean, being clinical? Yeah, you know, clinic, being medicine and uh, football both need time. Okay. So I do practice sometimes, that is in off season, when it's, it's off football, I do practice. Okay, so you have a practicing license? Yes. Wow. Uh, is this something you intend to do after football? Because we know football has to end after around 15 years. Uh, do you plan yeah, to definitely, definitely. Uh, this is the re reason why I really pushed hard to make sure that I graduate because I knew football reaches a time and you, you complete playing football and you have to pursue other things. Mm. So uh, after football, definitely I will have to go back to my medical co course. Mm. Yes. Probably the, the viewer out there, all the athletes watching this show, we have very many that watch the KCCFC TV show, uh, just so you know. So they want to know how important is it to have a backup plan, because we know in football you can break a leg anytime, you can lose the form, or the career could end because of very many reasons. How important is it to have at least something as a backup plan like education? I, um, I'm going to say it is very, very a crucial, important thing that any footballer can have as a backup plan because you can never know with this football. This is a talent that, yeah, God gave us a good talent that we are footballers, but then. You just have to have a backup in case anything happens. Just as how you said, in case you break your leg or quit football, life after football, you have to plan immediately after football what's, what's next as you as a footballer or as a person. So it's really, it's really a personal motivation that you have to do something. Yes. The people out there, you're getting first hand information from people that have been there and uh, they know what it really takes. Hope you really pick a leaf from these people. So. I were, now talking about KCCFC, what shirt number are you going to be donning next season? I'm going to be donning a shirt number nine. Shirt number nine. Yes. Wow. Is that what you wanted? All along, it has been my dream shirt, and I've worked it. I've worked a lot for that shirt number. As a forward, are you ready to defend uh, that shirt number? Of course, I'm ready, 100 percent. Okay. Um, just to mention a few people that have been able to don that shirt number before at KCCFC, we had Derek Nsibambi putting on shirt number nine. We had. Uh, Robert St. Tongo, and very many other strikers. Um, what is your goal uh, as, as a KCCFC striker going into the 2020-2021 season? Definitely, as, uh, as a KCC striker, I have very many goals that I would love to achieve with KCC Football Club. There are very many shot nines that have been around that I've, I've seen play and I've admired and I've learned from them. So I believe I will take it on from there because First, I want to be consistent on the national team, okay. and consistency on the national team takes you really, it's a process whereby you have to work hard for it. So, among my goals, it's one of them, and I will have to, to achieve it. Okay, yes. Speaking about the competition at, at, at the football club, uh, the club will be playing in the Uganda Premier League, uh, the Uganda Cup, and the CAF Confederations Cup. Um, 
how, how is this motivating? I mean, you're going to be playing for the, in the car for the first time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, how is it motivating that now you're going to be one of the strikers at the football club? Um, it's really um, a challenging uh, competition, but um, in any other field, competition is there. And with competition, it helps us to progress. It's a very good competition. We call it healthy competition, whereby you yourself as a player, as me as a player, I'm going to, to be, I'm going to add on, on my value as a player through that competition. And playing CAF for the first time, it is exciting and motivating whereby it keeps on making me push on every day. Yes. You want to make the group stages with CAF? Of the course. The club has been there before, in yes. 2017. You also want to be part of the history and get there? That's, that, that's our main objective, actually. Wow. Yes. And uh, now, talking about the, you've talked about health competition at the football club. Um, the other strikers at the football club, Sadata, Napu, Senyonjo, Sam, and Luanga Charles, you're the fourth. Yes. That is Brian Ahewa. The club definitely cannot play all the four in a particular game. How is this, um, I mean, good for you, I mean, as players, because you want to push yourselves? How is this good for you? Uh, it's good. Um, at the club, there is a character where it, is, uh, it, it, it helps you as a player to really compete for yourself, not competing for others. Mm -hmm. So if you have that self-competition that tomorrow, today I want to do better, tomorrow I want to do better, you find yourself on another level, definitely. Yes. Now speaking about your national team career, you've talked about you were very proud the first. When did you make the, your first call-up? Uh, it was 2015. 2015? Yeah. Okay. That was when you were, who was, among you? Who was the coach at the time? Um, by that time, uh, that was uh, coach, um, uh, there was coach Abdallah okay. um, and coach... Um, Michu, okay. Coach Michu, mm. and uh, Coach Disabri. Okay. Uh, that was Chan when we were going for Morocco. I was summoned, but I was dropped. Okay. Yeah, that was my first call up actually. Mm. Then the second call up was uh, for Coach Michu. Mm. Um, I was still dropped. Mm. Yes. Then the third one was this recent one we were in COVID. The Chan of uh, where we are supposed to go to Cameroon. To Cameroon. Oh, unfortunately, unfortunately, the COVID interrupted and. Uh, Yes. But now, you, um, as I speak, you're among the, the players that have been summoned, uh, the local players, where the coach will pick only five or six that will make uh, the final squad that will compete against South Sudan in the Afghan qualifiers. How proud are you? I'm very proud for that call-up. Um, it is really exciting. But then it, it's, it's a sort of wake-up call that you have to work hard because when you go to higher levels, it calls for more hard work. So I'm really proud for it and uh, I will look forward that I can make it. Okay. Yes. Um, now, I mean, you, first of all, you say you come from where? I come from Hoima. Hoima. Yes. I know the people of Hoima I watch the KCF TV show. According to the analytics, you could first wave to them in that camera. <laughs> I'm quite very sure they are watching. So uh, we are going to have you, I mean, push a very nice message to the people of Hoima out there and also, I mean, rally them on to come and buy the merchandise for the football club and also to inspire the youngster out there who knows or who thinks that you cannot balance both football and education as you wind this up? Um, to every person who is watching out there, um, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for supporting KCC Football Club. Uh, we are really proud of you people and we beg that you should continue supporting us because we are here to make you proud. Um, to anyone who is there and wishing to play football and join with books, please don't give up. Uh, you can do, you can do better. You just have to timetable yourself on how you're supposed to be doing your, your daily programs, and um, keep supporting us, and we shall be here. Yes. Thank you very much, Bran. Uh, I should say you've had a very wonderful debut on the KCFC TV show. We hope to have you more and more. Probably this time we'll be talking. Uh, about you achieving the, the top scorer gong at the end of the 2020-2021 season, hopefully. Yes. Thank you very much. That has been Brian Ahewa, a striker at KCFC, shirt number nine for the 2020-2021 season. Uh, and a very confident guy, I should say, very positive. He's a landfiller, clinical officer, and he does practice because he has a license. Now we're going to be going to a break, but before we go into that break, we are going to leave you with the squad challenge. We had one last week, we have another this week. But after that squad challenge and after this break, we have a lot of stuff coming your way. We lost the Where Your Local Jersey campaign last, this week, sorry. And uh, it's going to be amazing after this break. Shot 22. Uh, 
shirt 22 polo shirt 20 shirt 20 bright shirt 17 uh kez shirt 4 shirt 4 that is musa shirt 11 shirt 11 shirt 11 that is kawoya shirt 14 shirt 14 that is ada shirt 19 shirt 19 Shirt 27. Shirt 28. No. Shirt 30. No. Shirt 9. I have a bread. Shirt 8. Uh, Ayera. Shirt 11. Chigozi. Shirt 17. Keziron. Shirt 16. Achai. Shirt 22. Poloto. Shirt 27. Kalanzi. Shirt 23. Chizabukenya. Shirt 29. Asan. Shirt 30. Kafumbe. Shirt 4. Musa Ramadan. Shirt 12. Kawa Kawaya. Shirt 15. Mugume. Shirt 12. Alido. Shirt 11. Chigozi. Shirt 14. Kizidu. Mm. Shirt 16. Mm -mm. Shirt 29. Tukwago. Shirt 10. Balinya. Shirt 2. Ato. Shirt 14. Alido. Shirt 22. Mm -mm. Shirt 16. Mm -mm. Shirt 5. Levita. <laughs> Shirt 27. 27. Arido. Shirt 24. 24 Rukwago. Shirt 21. 21. Uh, Shirt 14. 14 Anako. Shirt 8. Shirt 8. Shirt 8. No. Shot 23. 23. Bukenya. Shot 7. 7. Aliro. Shot 3. Shot 3. Musana. Shot 2. Kato. Shot 11. Kali. Izu. Kao. <laughs> Shot 8. Ayla Dominic. Shot 12. Shot 2. Kato. Shot 24. Uh, Marushi Ali. Shot 25. Shot 30. 25. Now welcome back from that break and just like we told you guys in the club news that this week we launched the Wear Your Local Jersey campaign and uh, this campaign is geared towards promoting the Ugandan football brand and also growing the industry that is the Ugandan football industry and it was a one of a kind press conference I should say never happened before I think in the history of Ugandan football as much as at least I'm informed because we had KCCFC, Express, Police Football Club, URA Football Club, SC Villa, Wakiso Giants, FUFA and the Uganda Premier League in one place at the same press conference and a lot was discussed in this press conference but just to give you a brief of why exactly this happened and then KCFC Football Club together with other Uganda Premier League clubs championed the campaign called the Where Are Your Local Jersey campaign and this is a drive that will ensure local football stakeholders support and build the Uganda football industry. In, a ch in challenging times like these ones, where the COVID pandemic has struck the local football industry hard since 20th March 2020, when sports activities were suspended in Uganda. Merchandise is one of the ways through which clubs can generate funds and also football stakeholders showing their support to Ugandan football. This comes at a time when fans will not be able to watch football live in stadiums, but can extend their support to their clubs through buying merchandise. And now for KCCFC for this campaign, 5% of the revenue that will come from merchandise selling will go towards corporate social responsibility. That is at the end of the 2020-2021 season. Now, everything that happened in this press conference and everything that was shared, uh, we have on this show. And this is what exactly happened when this Where Are Your Local Jersey campaign was being launched. 
Henry Mayeku, CEO of Uganda Revenue Authority. Anisha Shair Mozi, CEO of KCCA Football Club. Bernard Ewalu Olupot, PR Sports Club Villa. Isaac Moisigwa, CEO of Express FC. Yes, Lumu Fahad, CEO of Uganda Police Football Club. But the campaign, uh, just to give a brief back background, we all know that uh, COVID-19 has had very great effects worldwide, but uh, it has also affected the sports industry greatly, and most especially Uganda, because you know that we were shut down in March, and the president took quite a long time to actually open up sports. Why? He considered it a leisure industry. And why is that so? It's because the sports industry probably has not commanded the value that it should actually command. The sports industry in Uganda is not as vibrant as other regions. But when you look at the FIFA and SECAFA ratings, Uganda is actually in the 70s, whereas our counterparts, uh, Kenya and Tanzania, they are in 100, 130. So that shows you that the football in Uganda is actually very, very, um, very, very good to see that we always get very good ratings. But when it comes to the commercial value, those other two countries, especially Kenya and Tanzania, they actually have a higher commercial value. Why? Because that is how they have actually projected their industry. The sports industry in Tanzania, the sports industry in Kenya is very, very uh, valuable. And that's why even most times you see our players crossing over. You find a player leaving a Ugandan club and going to a Kenyan club. Why? Because they can pay them better than any club here. Take a walk today. You will rarely find fans wearing any of these jerseys. You just find a few, okay, if you do a sample. But when you start looking at people wearing the Arsenal, the Manu, the Barcelona jerseys, they are actually everywhere. It just comes as second nature for someone to pick a Barcelona jersey, a Manu jersey. Why? That's because the football industry has not commanded that presence. So that's why we are launching a campaign. It's called, it's called Where Your Local Jersey Campaign. We are asking people out there, instead of you going and buying a Barcelona jersey and wearing it, why don't you buy a jersey for any of your local clubs and actually support them, okay? Support that club, wear the jersey, create brand visibility and brand awareness, and then in turn, we will see very, very many benefits. It's very important to have our own promoted because Brand visibility is a key aspect in development of the sport world over. But key here is Uganda, where we think we need to grow it, because at the end of the day, it's the path that we need to take if we are to achieve the best for our nation in terms of football development. Because at the end of it, to develop our revenues because jerseys if we go by the uh, <clears throat> the core word that is prevailing where we are promoting and wearing our own by saying where you are local jersey campaign we are meaning that whatever you buy trickles down to our own uh, clubs whether KCC whether uh, any other club in the Premier League. Uh, this is part of the revenue streams in clubs, and we should really push so hard. Therefore, I would really call the, the media to promote this cause, because as you see the write-up, it will also, some of the proceeds will go to uh, corporate social responsibility, uh, especially for KCC, Therefore, you be part of this uh, cause in terms of assisting the low people who could earn as a result of buying that jersey. As a federation, we encourage this kind of uh, initiative. Uh, we already do it at the federation by wearing. We are encouraging people to buy the national jerseys. As staff, we wear every Friday. So we would try to see that we spread it through the clubs to also encourage your fans to set particular days where fans <coughs> compete on which club has the fans that can 
spread their love of the clubs in town. Um, the Wear Your Local Jersey initiative is one that is in keeping with uh, Sports Club Villa's um, direction. Uh, as you may be aware, we are undergoing some kind of transformation. And uh, part of our plan, part of our long-term plan, is to paint the, the, the city and the country at large with uh, Sports Club Villa merchandise and apparel. And uh, that involves, of course, uh, selling our jerseys, that involves um, caps, that involves you know, shawls, that involves flags, uh, mugs, and all these other things. So um, I would like to add my voice on to those who have already spoken, just to call upon every person who means well for Ugandan football, and that should ideally be everyone who is Ugandan, to get in line with this program. All our clubs in Uganda, or world over, partly we depend on resources um, coming from our own support. That, that are the funds and <clears throat> any, other, any other institution close to us besides the sponsors. Now, um, as my other colleagues have noted that we need to be out there to let the world know that we exist. Yes, they may know that we exist, but we need to be in their faces so that we can command, we can, we can, we can command a voice that, that will be able to bring resources to us. We can command respect, we can command, we can have a voice so that we can also take decisions. As a responsibility to the community, you look at the Ugandan League, uh, we use basically local players, we use local coaches and local products. That means we are doing great um, adding to our economy, but our recognition has not been felt by government. So we need to up this game, increase our visibility and the brand that uh, we may be looked at as one of the key industries that can earn uh, revenue to the government. And that's how we will be able to influence government policy on key positions instead of leaving this responsibility to the Federation. Um, for us as URA, uh, in conformity with this campaign, we actually started before Adita told me, Anisha told me anything. Uh, we have for the first time signed uh, a partnership with one of the key manuf uh, kit manufacturers. So uh, come this upcoming season, we'll have a new kit that the uh, arrangement is going to run for three years. Um, to promote it, uh, our staff and our partners will don our jersey every Friday of the week. It is it's their responsibility to contribute positively in a way of purchasing jerseys and uh, uh, get collections, buying whatever the club has to offer. So we are kindly reminding our fans and uh, the public in, in general that if you buy these jerseys from our clubs, you are positively contributing to, the, to, to your clubs, to, the, to your local clubs at large. Then the second point is our commitment as clubs to the availability of jerseys. In the past, fans were complaining that uh, we want the jerseys but are not available. So our commitment today is, as clubs, we are committing to, to the public that uh, jerseys will be available wherever you want them. But the question will be, if we are to wear our local jersey, as where your local jersey, the theme is, can it go across the UPL clubs down to the fourth division clubs? If we are, that's, that's the way to go. Because I have a friend uh, by the name of Clive. He wears a white combi jersey. He looks for a Canterbury jersey and puts them on. But if we are to wear our local jersey, you have a fourth division club where you come from, you put it on, up to the UPL clubs. That is the way to go. We, when we look at Bubu, buy Uganda, build Uganda. It's a cry to the textile industries out there. We are normally looking for you in the market. You are nowhere, Ugandan textile industries. And for the first time, I think I'm happy to see us united because it's rare to see us united like this. But I'm happy and I call upon other teams as well uh, to join this course and uh, we'll move on smoothly. Uh, when I was called for this campaign, I was like, mm, 
will we wear the jerseys? I'm like, okay, I'll come and deliver the message. Uh, from Vipers, we keep pushing uh, from the school as well, because the school is part of the club as well, and the club is part of the school. So we encourage all our students to put on their jerseys during match day. Uh, the same thing I call upon uh, other fans from uh, Express, KCC, Police, Wakiso, uh, URA to also do the same, and KCC as well. Uh, so it's a good move, and we shall back it, we shall push. Well guys, that's it from the presser that happened, that is the way your local jersey campaign, and this campaign is going to be running up until forever, because we want the Ugandan football stakeholders to support Ugandan football clubs. That is, buy their apparel and buy really genuine apparel from the real stores for these football clubs because you're going to be giving back to these football clubs. Remember, there's not going to be any fun watching football as until maybe the government of Uganda decides that the fans should come back to the stadium. So the only way and the biggest way the fans uh, can give back to these football clubs and how the clubs are going to make revenue out of this season's sales is when the fans buy the merchandise for these football clubs well guys that was it from the where your local jersey campaign and it was one of a kind uh, you don't get it very often where you have football clubs from uganda all in one place and all gearing up to one cause a very common cause you have the fufa you have uganda premier league you have vipers you have kcca you have sports club vida you have wakiso giants you have sc vida you have police and express football club and all fighting for a very common goal and top class stuff that really happened. Uh, I mean, kudos to KCCFC for hosting all these clubs and kudos to the Federation, which is FUFA and the Uganda Premier League are uh, showing up and showing their support for this cause. Now, for the fans out there and the stakeholders for the game, kindly, I mean, buy genuine apparel for your football clubs, not only for KCCFC, but wherever. And let's buy those local jerseys because it's one way we're going to promote this industry that is the football industry in Uganda and also give back to the club because it's the biggest revenue center clubs are going to have for the 2020 2021 season because we don't have funds in the stadium and they're not going to be getting that revenue from the funds so every time you want to spend your money on a jersey from another team maybe out there think of your local team and support them by buying their apparel now that's been it for this week's show and just a reminder we had a guest in this week's show that is brian aheba and he's a landfiller He's a clinical officer telling us how he has been able to balance education and sport plus his goals for the 2020-2021 season. For the Fan Zone segment this week, we had kids featuring on the show and I should say they did tremendously well. And kudos to the kids that really appeared. We'll be having more kids on the show. And we also had fans walk a mile in the gaffer's shoes for the second week on the bounce. We also had club news where we told you that we have five players that have been summoned for the national team and uh, we also have a coach that has been given the job to head the under-20 national team as the manager or the head coach, that is Mr. Mole Viekwaso. Plus, the Wear Local Jersey campaign. Guys, support that campaign. KCFC has its mer merchandise sold at 35,000 shillings and 40,000 shillings for the kids and also 55,000 shillings for the customized jersey. Go down to the Star Time Stadium, Lugogo, and support KCCFC by buying that merchandise. And that's been it for episode 22 for this week's show. And episode 23 will be back next week. My name is Magero Moses Mwanje. I'm signing out. <laughs>